April 7, 2016, about uh, 6.30 p.m. Now, baby seal cysts in Singapore dogs can be hard to diagnose, but uh, if the blood test shows low red blood cells, low hemoglobin, and the gums are very pale, as in this case, you can see even in this, this dim light, you can see the gums are very pale. Then, uh, in most cases, I would say that uh, the vet should do a blood smear to confirm baby seosis. And then there's another test for anaplasma and elecosis and heartworm. And uh, then quickly commence on imazo for treatment. Now in this case, this, this dog was seen by another vet on 23rd of March and then 30th of March has the, has the owners wanted to bring the dog to the other vet which is nearer to their house and uh, the blood test actually on 30th of March show low red blood cell count, low hemoglobin low platelets, elevated uh, total white cell count and neutrophils. So, the vet did prescribe doxycycline and uh, other antibiotics. But the thing is, the dog did not recover. So today is seven and the father who really loves this dog brought it here to, to me to to uh, have a second opinion now as you can see the veins for IV given by the, the other vet has really occluded the flow so it's quite difficult to give an IV drip but uh, we managed to give this is the second bottle today now on the left leg which has been used by the other vet as well the right leg as well as you can see is thrombosed now so the problem is uh, giving the drip IV now I have given Imazo at about 3 p.m. so now it's 7 p.m. well at least the dog is uh, sitting up now we don't know whether the dog will survive till tomorrow or not. But uh, I, I noticed that the platelets are very low as well. So there will be internal bleeding and uh, in some dogs with, with tick fever, babesiosis, they will pass blood in the stools, but in this case the stools were normal. And uh, so much depends on tomorrow, overnight, whether this, this poodle will survive or not. This, this poodle survives, then you will see the color, will be much better than now. Now it's really, now it's really very pale. The gums are very pale, even you can see, you can see from now, this is the, the darkness inside the clinic. You can see the gums are not uh, pink. And the dog is not really active. And uh, so we have to, to hope for the best. If it's a very acute one, acute tick fever, then of course the dog will not survive. But if it's chronic or not uh, severe, then the dog will be much better tomorrow after the imazole injection. And of course, th there needs to be supplements, iron, which the other way had given iron tablets since the DF of, of uh, 
much about uh, eight days ago. It's just that without imazo treatment, you cannot, uh, tr you cannot eliminate the baby cell cysts inside the red blood cells. So the drip is still flowing, but very slowly. This is the protein drip with glucose and and the vitamins. And uh, you will see how how it goes by tomorrow. Not the same. Hmm? No, not the same. Huh? Okay. Baby Celsius in the puddle. April seven to zero one six six PM.